Rick and Morty, it's back, baby. Rick and Morty, number one. Rick and Morty. Is it better, though? Oh, jeez, we're going to Bendigo. Oh, jeez, we're going to Bendigo. Or are they? They've never actually been to Bendigo. They have not. Wait. They never made it. Oh, really? I don't think they did. I don't know. We're the only ones who know what Bush World is, though. It, it was a good episode. It, was, it, it wasn't a real episode. It was like a, one of those side episodes. It was a good fake episode. Good fake episode. Anyway, that's right. It's uh, Noob Noob and Z. We're here to talk about your favorite topic and mine, Rick and Morty, baby. Because we were a Rick and Morty channel up until we are now a Nintendo Switch OLED reviewing channel. Yes. Well, now we're going to talk specifically back about it's season six, right? It is season six. Because season five sucked, and you can see that video right up here, right? We had an intervention. Yeah. We, it was successful. It was successful. On our end, not really on Rick and Morty's end. It still sucked. Mm-hmm. But we're going to talk about season six. I didn't have the article, but I did. I have mentioned several times that Justin Roiland, one of the, vo- the voice, basically, he does Rick and Morty is offended by season five just like we were he is also offended because dan Harmon gave up on writing yes he decided that he was going to have an episode about his writing process which was called the writing train right or, fucking pretentious prick yes he's a pretentious fat bastard who likes to cuck his wife maybe or something. he should write game of thrones maybe he should uh but i'll stick with justin roiland he's still cool i like him I yeah. heard that show on Hulu is actually not bad. I have not watched it, though. He does a show on Hulu? Space Invaders or something. Oh, basically just Rick and Morty on Hulu? Yeah, pretty much. Oh. But anyway, uh, Rick and Morty Season 6, Episode 1 Recap. It's not um, really about the recap. It's about, is this setting the stage for Rick and Morty's comeback? I'm going to say yes and no. Yes in the fact that I thoroughly enjoyed this, this episode. I thought it was great. Right? What did you think? I thought, uh, yeah. I mean, it was like a solid episode. I wasn't like season one. I wasn't season blown th- away. It, it's no. Um, it's better than season five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's better than almost any episode, except well, there's like two good episodes in season five. This was, I thought it was a real good setup, though. It's a good start, right? You got a lot of good jokes. Even the stuff with um, uh, the mom is kind of funny, you know, and Summer. Summer's picking up where she left off, where she's got special instructions and she knows you know they, they're paying her basically to save them they acknowledged evil morty is basically just a waste and they're moving on did they kind of right oh he did say he made a joke about evil he, they were like oh he was just like a selfish prick who only cared about himself and he was just self-aggrandizing yeah and then he just went and quit just like he yeah he's a guy who's a real quitter yeah 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 yeah, yeah. um yeah, because he just basically wanted to escape the the Mortyverse, right? Because they're trapped in like this perpetual yeah, the Morty. Citadel's Rick and all that. And... Yeah, but they were trapped in this particular multiverse. Like Rick made his own multiverse, and he's like, "I want out." That's how it ended. Did you not? You know? Oh, that's right. Yeah, he created yeah. a multiverse where he's the smartest Rick. Yeah, and he wanted out of it. Like that's what the uh, evil Morty was like. I'm out of this. I want to make. I want free will. I want to do my own thing. So that's where he left. But then they go right ahead and reset the next big villain, which is strange, right? After they were just like, oh, we don't, you know, Dan Harmon made this big deal about, we don't we don't care about continuity. We don't really, the evil Morty thing was just like a joke or whatever. And then somebody twisted their arm, made them resolve the evil Morty thing. But now they just go right up and set up uh, the Rickus Rick, the true Rick, right? The yeah. original Rick, Morty's original Rick. Which is pretty weird, right? So, I guess, you know, spoilers, Rick's backstory from from Shoney's was true. Like, it wasn't a lie. That's what we discover. Yes. So, Rick's family really did get murdered by the the Rickest of all Ricks. And, uh, yeah, it was kind of like a little weird. That whole universe, he's basically destroyed that universe, too, after his family got killed. Remember they got incinerated by that bomb? Did they? Yeah, that's what happened. Uh, his his wife and kid. Um, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Remember yeah. he showed the 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 thing in in Shoney's and, it, and yeah. the bug guy was like, oh. That was a good episode. 
yeah, that was probably one of the best episodes. It was the season four premiere premiere on April Fools. Yeah. So that was real good. And this was like a throwback. There was a lot of references. They're like season two, Jerry, like what? Yeah, Jerbury or whatever. I don't know what that was. Yeah, when so. he when he dropped off Jerry at the Jerbury. Oh, oh, that's what they're saying is they got the Jerry's mixed up and Rick was like, I don't care. Remember, he's like, oh, oh you're not my Jerry. That's and right. Like, yeah, yeah, I don't yeah. care. Okay. Yeah, there were, dude, there was references that I was like, oh, man. I've seen every episode multiple times. And even I was like, oh, what's that a reference to? Yeah. Yeah, so they they got the wrong Jerry's. And then there's the, you know, they, they still are keeping in, um, uh, what's the mom's name? Beth. Beth. The clone Beth and, the, and then the real Beth and all that. But I thought overall it was quality. It was funny. It was good. I like the idea of like a better Rick being like the head of all the Ricks and all that stuff. But at the same time, is that like a cheap ploy? Because they felt like they did Evil Morty wrong. Is that that's? Kind I was going to say I'm they basically getting. went from Evil Morty to Evil Rick. So yeah, I mean, I don't. Well, we'll see what the next episode is. They could just drop it and move on. But it looks like it's actually going to have a plot, like an overarching plot. Yeah, so for now, I think we're giving it at least the first episodes a thumbs up. When season five started, I think we were a little on the fence. We were like, eh, what's going on? And then it slowly went like real, real downhill. And yeah. there was like maybe two good episodes in that season. I think so. I honestly forget any of the episodes. I think episode nine was good. I don't know. I don't remember. I like the finale was pretty good. Yeah, that was the the Rick's mind thing, right? It was just all in his head. No, no, no. That, that's the one where Evil Morty finally like figures everything out. Oh, that's out. right. The mind thing was right before. That was the one before. That's the one with Bird Person. And yeah, all that. that was a little weird. Yeah, I didn't really think they resolved any of that. And some people really liked it, but I'm going to say, based on just the popularity of what I've seen out there and the popularity of Adult Swim and the Rick and Morty stuff, it, there's definitely uh, a waning. Like The fandom is not quite as excited as it was. Not to mention they had that whole crazy weird Wormageddon event that like, I didn't hear anything about that nobody really seemed to care about. So I'm going to say Rick and Morty fans have hope. Maybe this won't be as bad as the last one. Maybe Justin Roiland really like went up and slapped Dan Harmon and was like, dude, this needs to go forever. Like, Why would you kill our... our you know, moneymaker. Why would you do that? So I th I think for now, I mean, we're still in. We're going to review all the episodes. We'll probably do a short review for each one too. So uh, check them out. Check out our full-length audio podcast. You can catch that on Stitcher, Spotify, iTunes, all those great places more. We also live stream at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Be there or be square. Because if you don't like and subscribe to this video... There's a very good chance that Noob Noob will do this. I will put you in a time loop where all you do is sit naked in my kitchen with an apron and cook me muffins. And until what kind I of muffins? Uh, banana chip, obviously. <sighs> kind of stupid question is that? Obviously. Yeah, banana chip muffins. And unless I'm sexually satisfied by those muffins, you'll just keep making them and making them and making them. Your body will your body will age, but your mind won't. Muffin tops forever. Yeah. So you'll fill me with my muffin needs or else just saying all right well I you heard him really want a muffin now wow well anyway uh that's all from us here and our reviews will kill you to all y'all at home but we are on to the next one <laughs>